So we've already looked at division of polynomials. You've got a big long polynomial and you use long division with a, a factor of that polynomial. Um, now, the problem is that if you want to factorize that big long polynomial, you need a first factor to divide it by. If you don't have that first factor, you've got nothing to divide it by, so you're going to really struggle to um, factorize it. Now we need to do a little bit of guess and check here to find that factorize, but we do have something handy to help us. Uh, let's take a look at uh, this first of all. Now, you already know, know the null factor law, which says that if this times this is equal to zero, then this must be equal to zero, or this must be equal to zero. I'm going to focus on that one for now. Um, therefore, zero is equal to 2x plus 3. Um, now, if I rearrange that to make x the subject, I get um, negative 3 over 2 is equal to x. Now, that result for those particular numbers is interesting, but let's say I just get rid of the numbers entirely and uh, just use like a bunch of letters. So now we're using something more general. We're saying that 0 is equal to something, ax plus b, times something else, cx plus d. Um, now, if I use my null factor law again, I can say that therefore 0 is equal to ax plus b, and I can rearrange that to make x the subject, it's going to be negative b on a. Okay, now that's told me the root of it, but I can now use that result to reverse engineer a factor of a polynomial. Um, now, what do I, what do I mean by that? What this equation says is that this polynomial will be equal to zero if the x value is uh, negative b on a. Now, we can use that result to say that if I can find a value for x in a polynomial that gives me an answer of zero, I'll know that one of the factors will be uh, negative b on a. Um, let me show you what I mean. So if I want to find a linear factor for 2x squared plus x minus 3, I could use the AC method to try to factorize it. But if this was a larger polynomial, degree 3, degree 4, degree 5, I couldn't do that. I'd have to use what's basically just guess and check. But with this handy little piece of information here, if I can find some x value that makes this um, polynomial equal to zero, then that x value is going to tell me a linear factor. So, equals zero, 2x squared plus x minus 3. And now I'm going to sub in x values until I find a linear factor. Um, so if I sub in 2 for x, I'll get uh, 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8, plus x is 10, minus 3 is 7. All right, that's not going to work. What about if I sub in 1? 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3, minus 3 is 0. Okay, so if I sub in the number 1 into that equation, let's just do it more formally, I'll get uh, 2, or sorry, if I say... The function, when x is equal to 1, is 2 times 1 squared plus 1 minus 3 is 0. Tick. That's really important information. We've done our guess and check. We tried the number 2, we tried the number 1, try the number 0, try the number negative 1, see what's going to work. 1 works. It's, 1's really important now. Because we can say that... Uh, the factor here is going to be equal to, so 1 is equal to negative b on a. That's, what, that's basically what we can say here for our linear factor. So our linear factor here, and we can set this linear factor up however we want, but if I make the uh, a value 1, then our linear factor is going to be x minus 1. 
All right, so what does that mean in plain terms? I'm going to make this really, really simple. To find a linear factor, that's our linear factor, of a polynomial, that's a polynomial, sub x values in, I subbed in 2, I subbed in 1, until the answer you get is 0. The factor will then be x minus the thing you subbed in. So if you subbed in 1, then the factor is going to be x minus 1. If you subbed in 2 and you got an answer of 0, then the factor is going to be x minus 2. If you subbed in negative 3, then the factor is going to be x minus minus 3, which is x plus 3. Um, once you've sort of guessed and checked and found one linear factor, you can then go on and use that um, polynomial division to find the remaining factors. Or, yeah, that, that's, that's, uh, that's a wrap.